When was your gut feeling actually wrong? Full story plus five updates. My boyfriend and I dated for four years, and before me, he was in a long-term relationship with this girl. The ex was still close to his family because she's best friends with his younger sister. They still invite her to parties, birthdays, and I never really saw it as a problem because she was seeing someone at that time, so I thought I was safe from any ex-girlfriend drama. I was there at his home when she announced that she is pregnant. All of us, yes, even me, were happy for her. Few months passed, and she was nice enough to invite me to her baby shower, which my boyfriend and I went to. We went there. We were hoping we were going to meet the father of the child, but he is nowhere to be found. I thought it was odd, and I started to have a wrenching gut feeling that there was something wrong because the only family present in that baby shower was her family and my boyfriend's. I was having these crazy thoughts that maybe he is the dad. Well, turns out that his dad slept with the ex-girlfriend and got her pregnant. We found out about it after she gave birth. She couldn't keep the secret anymore and didn't want to hurt his family. What's really messed up is that my boyfriend's family took care of her while she was pregnant. She was at their house all the time, being pampered and loved. Everyone super excited about the baby. His mom did everything, made sure she ate right, took her shopping, treated her like she was part of the family. I mean, she was spoiled. And I can't even wrap my head around how she kept up the act, lying to the people who genuinely cared about her. Nobody questioned who the father was or if he even existed. They just assumed it was some random guy and didn't bother to ask. She was included in everything. Birthdays, dinners, Christmas. She even took family photos while pregnant. It's insane how only two people in the room knew the truth. There was one dinner where we all talked about baby names. The dad was quiet and we were all cluelessly suggesting names, not knowing the baby would share names with everyone at the table. My boyfriend was fine having her around since they were friends and had ended things on good terms. She was sweet to me too. As her due date got closer, the family was there for her every step of the way. I guess all the guilt finally got to her after nine months of love and attention. She had her contractions in the morning while staying at their home. The mom rushed and packed everything the night before and even drove her to the hospital. She called everyone to surprise her when she's done with the labor. The mom was there when she gave birth, not knowing that she was giving birth to her husband's child. After 10 hours of labor, she broke down when she saw my boyfriend's mom happily holding the baby and revealed the bombshell. Her child's father was the husband. We were all there. Me, my boyfriend, his siblings. At first, his mom didn't believe it, thought it was some sick joke, but the girl kept apologizing, begging for forgiveness. Her best friend left in shock, yelling at her. The mom, devastated, put the baby back in the bassinet and just sat there, trying to process everything. All the memories of what she had done for this girl, who turned out to be her husband's mistress, came flooding back. It was beyond heartbreaking. She left without a word. My boyfriend just told her how disappointed he is and how she just ruined his family. Everything they had done for her, all the love they had shown, was for someone who had been lying to their faces the whole time. The betrayal cut deep, leaving scars that would never fully heal. His dad, pushing 60, had knocked up a 26-year-old. It was like a twisted soap opera playing out in real life. His mom was shattered. She begged them both, tears and all, to end it. She couldn't believe her husband of over 20 years would do this to her. But nope, the dad wasn't having it. He said that the girl made him feel important, loved, everything he claimed he hadn't felt in their whole marriage. He blamed her for being mean and toxic all those years. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. And then the truth started unraveling. This girl had been flirting with the dad every chance she got while we were still together. Imagine that, smiling at you while she's making moves on your boyfriend's dad. But wait, it gets worse. Before she set her sights on dad, she was hooking up with my boyfriend's older brother. They got together before my boyfriend, but ended up calling it quits. Then she decided to settle with my boyfriend. Nobody knew they were together since the older brother doesn't want anybody to know he is dating her, which totally makes sense. This girl was on a mission to conquer every Every man in the family and it was beyond sickening. My boyfriend, disgusted beyond words, didn't even care like that she cheated on him. Or he was the second or third choice. Or he was just over it, done with the whole mess. Meanwhile, the dad and the ex were sneaking around, sleeping together, pretending everything was fine. It was a nightmare. The mom, gathering every bit of strength she had left, filed for divorce. She couldn't stand the betrayal, the humiliation knowing it spread around to their family and friends. What's sad is that their common friends know about it and are excited. The mom's friends who are wives of the husband's friends have been hanging out with the girl a lot, taking her to brunch, shopping, and golf. She even confronted the girl's parents, hoping for some kind of support or apology. But no, they knew about the whole thing and supported it or never cared at all. Can you imagine? They were okay with their daughter wrecking a family and getting impregnated by a 50-year-old. I just feel bad for her for knitting into this mess, but at the end of the day, it was her decision. She's a full-grown adult and absolutely knows what she is doing. We talked one time after she revealed everything. She said she couldn't help it. My boyfriend's family was the perfect family she ever wanted. She came from a broken family where her parents had a nasty divorce after her dad had a family with someone who is younger than him, the same age as her. It felt like everything was just trauma. The dad, blinded by this so-called love, gave up everything. His family, 
his dignity, a marriage of over two decades, all for a girl half his age. He didn't care about the destruction he left in his wake, and the girl? She got exactly what she wanted. She tore through that family like a tornado, leaving nothing but chaos and heartbreak behind. Update 1. Ever since that hospital visit, my boyfriend's mom has been in this weird, scary silence. She hasn't spoken a word to anyone, not even her own kids. It's like she's just shut down. Then, out of nowhere, the dad strolls in, trying to start a fight while shoving divorce papers in her face. But she didn't react the way he expected. No yelling, no tears. She just took the papers, signed them right there at the dinner table in front of everyone, and walked away. He was floored. I think he thought she'd beg, argue, try to save their marriage, but she didn't. She just signed and left. Her silence has been so intense, it's got all of us on edge. I've been trying everything to keep her company, to keep her busy. Anything to distract her from the hell she's going through. But it's like she's a ghost of her former self, just drifting through the days. Update 2, and the ex. She vanished, consumed by guilt. She took off out of state to live with her sister. Of course, the dad, being all wrapped up in his messed up version of love, followed her. They tried to make it work for the sake of their new baby. They even got married, but it was a disaster. She was embarrassed couldn't handle the stares and whispers from people seeing her with a man old enough to be her dad. They end up getting a divorce. Update 3. It has been three years. The mom's suffering is like a heavy cloud hanging over everything. She used to be so full of life, and now she's just gone. Her silence is more painful than any words could be. It's like she's trapped in her own head, reliving every betrayal, every lie. My boyfriend and I got married, and I am currently pregnant. Somehow, the mom wasn't excited about my pregnancy. I guess she got traumatized. I am hoping things will change for the better, and she will start anew with us. Update 4. My daughter just turned one, and I wanted to share some amazing news. My mother-in-law has become a ray of sunshine again. She's a happy, glowing grandma, the best grandma to our daughter. She's full of love and hope, a complete transformation from where she was. She's even seeing someone, an old high school sweetheart. How cool is that? She gave love a second chance, and seeing her so happy has been everything to all of us. Update 5. Hey, everyone. This might be my last update, but my mother-in-law got married. Things have turned out so beautifully for our family. I'm also pregnant again and enjoying a healthy, loving marriage. They're off to their honeymoon in Italy, and I discovered she's never been overseas before. Her ex-husband never took her anywhere, even though she always wanted to travel. Now, with her new husband, she's finally seeing the world. Taking that second chance was probably the best decision she ever made. My relationship with her is amazing. She thanked me for sticking with the family through all the drama and being there at their lowest points. Before they left for their honeymoon, she gave me the biggest hug. I appreciate everyone's support and those who followed our journey. It's been a crazy ride, but I'm so glad things turned out well. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you for being part of our story.